I've seen and heard some goofy shit this year, but this one takes the cake so far. Find out why on FTBDM. You are now tuned in to FTBDM from the Black Dragon's Mouth. Dragon up, man. What's up, people? I'm JM, and this is another episode of FTBDM from the Black Dragon's Mouth. Now, this shit is so goofy, I don't even want to go through with the full intro, but for uh, the sake of our agreement, we're going to go ahead and shout out 808 Workshop that's providing the music in the background. So, uh, good job, fellas. Keep up the good work, and I'll give you a proper shout out next episode. Now, the reason why I'm sitting here laughing my ass off it's, this is something so goofy, this is something that even I couldn't have thought of and written a story about. Now, I saw a video this morning on my uh, Facebook timeline, one of my frat brothers posted it, and it looked interesting. Now, it's a video from 2015 from a feminist named Cassidy Boone. Now, before you jump down my throat, she calls herself a feminist. So don't come emailing me, scamming me, or whatever y'all want to do, sending... Uh, whatever army you want after me, these are her words. Now, Miss Boone is actually, well, has actually sued the guy that saved her from drowning on the pretenses of false rape. I bullshit you not. I can't make up the story. I'm going to go ahead and let you listen to the clip. So anyway, a few weeks ago, I almost drowned. I was at this lake having my first swim of the summer. There is this like jumping platform thingy that everybody was jumping off. So I thought, what the hell, I might as well try it too. It looked like fun. Apparently, I hit my head on the way down and I was knocked unconscious. I woke up lying on my back, back up on the platform with a whole bunch of people standing around me and this weird 40 year old something 40 year old guy like pressing down on my chest at first i had no idea what was going on but then the man who had revived me told me that i had been underwater for almost two minutes he said that he had been lucky to get a hold of me down there a small part of me was happy to be alive but the rest of me was screaming inside I can't believe he just felt that he had the right to just grab me under the water while I was knocked unconscious. I wasn't able to consent. He thought it was perfectly okay to just grab my body and pull me in whatever direction that he pleased. He possessed my body, and he grabbed my waist and pulled me around down there like it was his right, like he wanted to fucking have sex with me down there in the water. Fucking aquatic sex. I feel so violated. I can't believe it. He raped me. So now I'm suing him for rape for what he did to me. Yeah, sure, he saved me from drowning, but it doesn't excuse what he did to me down there. If we excuse people like this, it is a fast and slippery slope before we start excusing people like child molesters and murderers. He raped me. He put his hands on me without my consent, and by definition, that is rape. I know a lot of you misogynists are going to be like, Murder! He saved your life. You should be grateful. And yeah, I mean, it was a nice thing to do, saving my life and all, but he still raped me. If I, as a woman, feel that I have been raped, I've been raped. End of discussion. Period. If you don't realize that you're a rape apologist, you're part of the problem. When I told Jim, that's the guy's name, that I was suing him for rape, he broke down. So let me get this straight. She sued the guy that saved her life, that enabled her to put out the video that she put out back in 2015. What kind of... Man, this shit don't... Even... Man, look. It doesn't make any damn sense. So if you're unconscious and under the water, 
how can you consent to anything? The man literally pulled you out of the water, performed CPR, and then you go and sue the guy for supposed aquatic sex. Aquatic sex, bro. Aquatic sex. For, for, for rape? That, that's, a, that's ungrateful right there. This guy pulled you out of the water, saved your life, and then you had the audacity to go on YouTube and blast his ass for it. But what made it even worse, she was malicious enough to bust the guy out and sit there and watch him cry. And she even says it on the video. But yet, man, fuck, I, this shit just mind fucked me because that, it makes no fucking sense at all. The most logical thing that would have happened if somebody saved your life from drowning, they'll say thank you. Probably shout them out on YouTube, say, hey, you know what? Thank you for saving my life. I definitely appreciate it. Send them a gift card or something, a fruit basket, or take them out to lunch or something like that. But no, her ungrateful ass goes around and sues him. And you know what? I hope she lost the case because that's goofy. Man, you don't call false rape on somebody that pulled you out of the water. He could have just let you drown. Then it would have been another case. The guy would have had quote unquote bad karma and he probably would have felt like shit for the rest of his life but no his good deed was he gets sued for that shit what the, what? man people don't be thinking anymore for it, do they I, I don't even know what to say about this but to me that post that video and she gets the what the fuck award for the next six months. I thought the shit with DeVos was stupid. Or uh, uh, quote unquote Secretary of Education or whoever the fuck she decides she wants to be. No, excuse me, who Tito decides she wants him to be or vice versa. Man, my words are, are just jumbled up because I'm amazed at the sheer goofy and pettiness of this look here man uh she gets the what the fuck ever award if i was Charlemagne the god i'd give her a donkey of the fucking year for that that's stupid man y you don't do no shit like that man get <sighs> look yeah let me go ahead and end the episode because there's nothing more i can say now if you agree or disagree leave comments below be sure to like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. And if you want to get in contact with me on any of my social media handles, I'll put them in the link below. Peace.